What's up warriors of the Shadow Fight universe? Welcome to the beginner tutorial video for Shadow Fight Arena. If you are still coming across this channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Can we also get like 1000 likes for this video? I know you guys can do it. If you have some more tips and tricks that you think I missed, comment them down below so the new players can see it. I also made another tutorial video, top 5 tips for Shadow Fight Arena. I'm gonna link that video up here, you can check it out later. Today I'm gonna give you the tips that will help you stay ahead in the game. Let's get started. Let me begin this video by discussing the most valuable skill of Shadow Fight Arena. If you are to take any skill from this video, it should be this one. Proper movement in Shadow Fight Arena is the key to winning many matches. If you know how to move properly, you will know how to take out the enemy. First, let me threaten this guy with some of the emotes. Wow, that fire guard spitting fire looks nice. So in Shadow Fight Arena, proper movement is the key. Learn how to walk back and forth. Know when to dash, know when to roll. So I'm gonna show you what you guys should do in practice. Just try to learn your movement and pay attention to the opponent. This is very important. It's gonna help you win so many matches. So right now I am just moving. I'm gonna let the bot attack me. Then I'm gonna show you guys what you should do. Just move back and forth. If you see an incoming weapon attack, walk backwards, dash behind. When you see the opponent throwing a wrench weapon, roll towards them and then throw them. So right now you're by the wall. What you have to do is block all hits and then throw the opponent to the ground. In this case, I used my weapon. So movement is the key to winning many matches. You can develop a movement pattern, like walk two steps, dash, walk backwards two steps, dash, roll forward, dash, roll backward. You just need to practice and figure out which one works for you. The most important skill of Shadow Fight Arena is going to be your movement. Let's go to the next tip. Nike has really done a great job with Shadow Fight Arena. They have given us the opportunity to use characters without unlocking them. This is very important. You need to practice with every single character. It's gonna help prepare you and let you know how to fight in the arena. When you know how a specific character works, you will know how to use them. You will also know how to defend yourself against their attacks. So if you want to practice with the character, click on that specific character, go to the how to play section, then at the bottom there is the training button. Click on that button and then you can practice with every single character. Learn how they work, learn their movements, learn what type of attack styles is best to use with those characters. If you know how they work, you will know how to defend yourself against them. All you have to do is practice, practice, practice. If you don't have a specific character, check them out, use them in training, you will become a good player. Let's go to the next tip. Proper character selection is an important aspect of winning matches in Shadow Fight Arena. As of right now, there are 15 characters in Shadow Fight Arena. You should make a good selection every time you get into a fight with your enemy. There are characters that have excellent attack damage but weak defense. There are characters that have excellent defense but weak attack damage. There are characters that have crazy shadow attack damage. There are characters that have excellent attack, excellent defense, excellent shadow attack damage. Let's begin by taking a look at Marcus. Marcus is the one well-balanced character in the game. Excellent defense, excellent attack, excellent shadow attack damage. Why did, Ma why did Nike do this to Marcus? Marcus has such a slow weapon, so Nike decided to balance this character. Marcus at level 1 has the block breaker for his weapon. Let me give you a warning right now, stay away from Marcus. Do not let him hit you with this weapon. There is a high chance for him to break your attacks. You should be careful when you face this character. His block breaker is second to none in the game. Let's move on to the next opponent. Hongju is the hybrid character of Shadow Fight Arena. He is the one character in the game that can counter pretty much everybody. He doesn't use any shadow attacks, so characters that hate shadow attacks cannot do anything to Hongju. He has excellent defense, 
he has good attack damage. At level 6, he has the Dancing Fall ability, which prevents him from falling after receiving a critical hit. Overall, he is the antidote of Shadow Fight Arena, capable of countering any opponent. He has a blinding ranged weapon that can prevent the opponents from blocking any hits. Excellent character. Choosing the right character in Shadow Fight Arena is very important. Just take a look at the stats of the characters at the bottom. Some characters have excellent attack but weak defense. Some characters have weak defense, excellent attack. Some characters are well balanced. You need to use each character with caution. Let's take a look at Fire Guard. Weak attack damage, weak defense, excellent shadow attack. So when you use the Fire Guard character, you should utilize his shadow attacks. I think there is a level in the skill tree where Fire Guard gets an increase in attack damage every time he enters shadow form. At level 10, Fire Guard becomes a champion in Shadow Fight Arena. He gets the reinforced body ability that makes him invulnerable every time he enters the shadow form. Nike just needs to do something about those players who like to spam the Fire Guard shadow attack. So choosing the right characters requires you to know their stats properly. It's very important. Let's move on to the next tip. Every time you go see a doctor, they will try and tell you to have a well-balanced diet which is good for the benefit of your health. We can apply the same thing to Shadow Fight Arena. In Shadow Fight Arena, if you really want to win matches, you need to balance your team properly. Let me give you a good example of a team that is not well balanced. If you pick the wrong type of players, you're going to put yourself in trouble. You need to have a well balanced team that can also counter the opponent. So let's take a look at one of a team that is not well balanced. We are going to put Yuka here. We have the Fire Guard. And I'm going to include Sheng as well. There is one thing common with these three characters. They like to use shadow attacks. So this is not going to be very good for you. If you meet an opponent who has a well balanced team, you are going to suffer a lot. So let's take a look at a well balanced team that can deal with this team that I have just chosen. So here we have Marcus, we have Azuma, and we have Kate. Marcus has that ability that makes him invincible when the opponent enters shadow form. Azuma knows how to deal with opponents that use shadow attacks. Kate knows how to drain the shadow energy of opponents that use shadow attack. So having a well-balanced team is really important. The previous team that I chose cannot do anything against these three players. They can win the match if they know how to play, but it's not going to be very easy for them because they depend a lot on shadow attacks. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. I think I'm going to be making more tutorial video as I continue playing the game. Stay tuned. Until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.